If you're here watching this video, then there's a good chance that at some stage, like me, you have sat through a meeting or watched an online course or just been a part of some sort of thing that was the presentation equivalent of watching paint dry in slow motion. And now you're really scared to be responsible for creating that kind of snoozeworthy presentation yourself. Well, you can take great comfort in the fact that I have watched enough corporate training videos to know that there's a serious need for people to learn about the power of putting together a presentation that's not just beautiful, but also engaging and entertaining in a way that makes people walk away from it, not just remembering the information that they've just learn but be really excited to share it with and talk about it with their team members and their mailman and their grandmother and everyone in between and so that's exactly what we're gonna cover here today at the time of recording this particular video I've had just over 18,000 students go through my online courses and I'm continuously learning from how my students are going through my courses and analyzing and tweaking based on their actual behavior so safe to say I have come a long way since um, releasing my very first course in 2017 when I spent 20 whole minutes talking about this one ugly slide to now having really beautiful and dynamic and engaging slides in my best-selling online courses like these. And so now if you're ready to learn how to create a powerful and beautiful engaging slide deck for your online course or webinar or short presentation, then I'm so freaking excited to share everything I know with you. So we will be creating our design within Canva, but for those of you who are overachievers or maybe you're really confident in just designing from scratch, then this could be a really good option for you within Creative Market. If you search for something like Canva slide decks, you'll find lots of inspiration for slides that you can actually buy if you do want to buy them, but just for slides to draw inspiration from. So I like to come here and just check out a few different designs that I can draw inspiration from by taking a few screenshots and just taking a look at some of these sort of designs here, grabbing a couple of these, you know, saying, oh, that's something I could recreate to an extent. Obviously, you don't want to be copying people's work because then obviously you want to be do doing the right thing and actually buying it from them. But there's nothing wrong with you just coming in here and taking a few different designs and going, all right, this is a cool different layout that I could try. So for those of you who want to go down that path and would rather create create something that's just your own absolutely this is a really really good place to start but for those of you who are not quite as confident and maybe it's your first time designing something like this then just jump straight into canva and we're going to go into the presentation slide template but before we do that just make sure that within your brand kit you have created a few color palettes on the free account i think you're only allowed three colors within your palette and only have one palette but on the paid account of canva you'll have multiple options for multiple color palettes and i would encourage you to have some with black if black is a part of your color scheme and some without and i'll show you why in just a little bit but i have a couple of different variations of my palettes for the purposes of creating slide decks and customizing pre-made templates to be kind of my own and my own branded ones and same with brand fonts so you want to make sure that you've got some fonts in there if you don't have brand fonts and you don't even have brand colors totally fine i'm going to show you how you can explore some options for this as well but for those of you who have that or who are working for clients that have that you want to make sure that that's set for you before you jump into creating your actual presentations so i would encourage you to just jump in here and actually search for presentation before creating the design because it'll allow you to jump in here and explore based on just what's sort of popping up it'll say you know there's 1600 templates that's too many but let's say you're looking for a specific color then you could just say all right show me just the ones that are primarily white it's not always going to be on point it's basically going to show you everything that has white in it so this is obviously quite a dark presentation template but it might give you some ideas for ones that you could start with and I'll also show you how you can actually search for different designs once you're in there so let's just go ahead and click on this one as a really good sort of base for me to start off of and then once you jump in here to templates you can always change your mind so these are obviously my recently used but let's say i'm specifically interested in a marketing pitch deck or a presentation deck and i want to just jump in here and say i'm going to apply all these 14 pages it's going to basically override everything you have in here already so you can go either by industry like marketing or real estate 
or nursing or anything like that and it'll give you some ideas or you can go by themes so themes would be like minimalist or boho these are all sort of more vibes of the templates rather than actual particular industries and you might find one that you really want to start with as your kind of base just something to keep in mind with these templates is that they are primarily designed for short presentations like webinars or pitch decks or work presentations they're not so much designed for courses specifically so if you are trying to use these tips to create a digital offer you might just need to look out for things like page numbers because sometimes they do have that and also a lot of these will often have a slide that has your information and things like that that you would need for a short presentation but not necessarily for a long course all right so let's say we like this one but obviously it's not within my brand colors that's when we can jump on over to styles here and just cycle through a few of these different colors and it'll basically just change all the elements on that slide to be within my particular colors so this is why i like to have some without black because in my experience if you do use the ones with black in it sometimes it'll make your whole slide black which is just not my brand if it is a part of your brand then awesome but it's always good to have a couple of different variations for you to check out until you find one that you really like. So let me just go with the blue one because I quite like this particular style and I'm just going to say apply to all pages. And now it's basically done that for me and it's going to give me some variations as well that are that's still within this particular color scheme. But if you want to just go slide by slide as well, you can shuffle through different variations within each of your slides to find ones that you really like and just don't hit apply to all pages in that case. And you can do the same thing with your actual text as well. So if you've got a particular font pairing for your particular brand, then this is where you can go and make sure that that's customized. And again, you can apply that to all pages. Now, keep in mind that I've got a different font for my heading, but this likely wasn't brought in as a heading font. It was probably brought in as a paragraph font and just made larger. So you might have to jump in here and highlight that and actually just manually change it to the right font there but you will notice that as you go through like that one's already changed to my correct font and this is my correct paragraph font so you might have to do a bit of a manual check there and as i mentioned if you don't have colors or fonts you can either in under all you can find ones that have the color and the font pairings here as options or you can just go for colors and these will give you some ideas for color schemes that are popular on canva and it might give you some ideas for what you can try and same with fonts so it'll have some font pairings already done here for you that are selected by professional graphic designers who know which types of fonts go well together so you don't have to do the guesswork in that case so that's a lot about the actual actual you know beautiful slide design side of things that we talked about but as I talked about engagement and entertainment of your audience is such a big part of this process and you want to make sure you're hitting those points and che checking those off as well because learning is so state dependent and if your audience is not engaged with what you're presenting they will tune out even if it's beautiful if it's not kind of surprising them and delighting them as they go along they might lose interest so that's where I like to bring Bring in some elements whether they're static or animated so let's have a look at animated elements first in here if you use the toggle to say i only want to look at animated elements and i'm going to look at white animated elements you can use different keywords here so you could use words like laptop or people and it'll give you something that matches that category but i quite like the search term white because it's quite all-encompassing and it's an easy thing to bring into a design like this one where these are very static elements and this is an element that really fits in with this design but is moving in this case maybe it's a little bit too much so i could actually delete that corner bit and then replace it with a moving element and it's still beautiful it still fits the design but it just gives it a bit of a dynamic element there and you can do the same thing with your static elements so instead if you search for static elements it will pull up anything that fits in with your keyword now one thing that has saved me a lot of time which I really wish that I knew earlier because I use a lot of elements within my slide designs is to just have one pitch deck that is just full of your animated elements like this. So I don't use this for anything else 
other than to pull these elements into my slide deck designs. And I have them somewhat categorized by the different look and feel. So these are, you know, hands scrolling through phones and tablets and uh, computers. Then there's images and animations of people. Then I have these ones, which are more kind of dynamic with multiple people using devices. So you do want to have them categorized in some small way and just making sure that animations that are similar to each other are being pulled onto one slide. The other reason you want to do that is because while you can't actually change the colors of animated elements, you absolutely can change the colors of static elements. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. So I've just searched for reading book as a static element that I'm looking for. And I can then bring in this little graphic illustration here. And it's going to give me some magic recommendations of illustrations that are similar to this one. If this doesn't ever pop up for you, just hit the three dots and say, I want to see more like this. And it'll give you any that are either designed by the same person or are kind of within the same sort of category. So you can see as I'm pulling these in, these are all quite similar. So you could then make one slide that's full of these kind of elements and then go back to styles and then hit your color scheme to get them to your particular branded colors. And this is honestly so, so powerful because it's going to save you so much time in fiddling around and manually changing the colors of each individual element. So I love this. And then what you can do is every time you're creating a new slide deck, you can either come in here and actually copy and paste this into your slide design like this, or another shortcut for you here. If you go to folders, go to all your designs, and select this is my elements design and then I can find the slide that I've just created. It's probably not actually refreshed yet so I'm just going to use a demo slide here and you can basically bring in any of these slides that I have full of these elements that are already beautiful and created for me and then I can basically just drag these into my presentation once they're already in there. So that's a really really cool quick shortcut. And the other thing I would encourage you to do if you can, and if it's right for your brand, of course, is to have some elements of yourself within your actual slides. So I have a whole folder where I've got images of me that I can bring into slides either as they already are. So like this one, I could just drag in here into my slide or I can just use a cutout. So with the paid version of Canva, you can go into effects and background remover, which will allow you to use a cropped image of yourself to use in your slides. And this can be a really great way to keep your audience engaged, even if maybe you're not particularly comfortable jumping in front of the camera. So you don't necessarily want to have your face in it too much, but you just want to have some elements of yourself in the slide. So people feel that connection with you. You can even have your photos black and white which is something I do quite often so it doesn't ruin your actual slide design but you can still keep yourself front of mind as you're presenting so people feel that connection as you're going through your slide deck and for extra bonus points for those of you who are my fellow overachievers if you do want to add in any extra gifts that are your custom made gifts of yourself you can definitely find ways to do that within the video tutorial that I've linked to in the description below that will make it really easy for you to create awesome custom gifts like this to use in your presentation slides that make it really dynamic and fun for people and it can be a really powerful way for you to communicate a point so if I'm you know teaching something that's really confusing in the marketing world I might use a gif of myself you know looking super confused it is a bit more of an advanced tip so if you still want to leverage the power of these kind of gifts that are really fun and engaging and keep your audience engaged but you're not comfortable doing this for yourself then you can still use the Giphy integration so down here you can find all the different integrations jump into Giphy and you can use so many amazing gifts here that are free for you to use in your presentation slides to communicate a point much better than you can just with text only slides and not to mention it's going to make it really fun for you to present and you're going to get really excited to present because you'll have these embedded gifts in there so of course it has to be right within the actual slide design which this is not the most beautiful slide design with this gif in there now but i would encourage you to play around with it and if gifts specifically like these that are a little bit more square and maybe a little bit more difficult to incorporate into your slide designs 
are not quite right. You can also use the word sticker at the end of your search term to get these kind of cropped out GIFs that might be a little bit more appropriate for you to actually use in your slide deck. So, you know, this would fit into this design. Obviously, you know, I'd have to change the text and everything, but it fits into the design really, really well and probably a lot better than the traditional GIFs would. And don't forget that if you know none of this is right for you because maybe your feel for your presentation is quite corporate, you can still just use animated elements within the video section here and bring those into your presentations. And these will actually auto play for you as you're presenting. So of course you may not actually wanna be able to, you may not be able to put too much text on top of these because that may not be right for you, but you could use sort of a one word slide to, you know, create this kind of beautiful moving slide within your presentation deck to, again, just delight and surprise people and maybe really, really just get them to engage with the specific point you're making within this particular slide. And once you're ready to present, because you'll have all these moving elements in here, you may not be able to just download a slide deck like you would normally as a PDF, but you can jump in here and either present and record so you'll get an actual video of it. You can also download this as an MP4 and talk over it, or you can just present this as a standard option and then record your screen and your audio separately with a tool like Screencastify or even QuickTime on your computer. Whew, that is a lot of stuff that I really, really wish I knew when I first started creating slides for my presentations and my online courses. Hopefully you guys learned something new that you didn't know that you could do within Canva. If you did, let me know in the comments below and maybe let me know what you'd like to learn next because I'm always curious to see what you guys are struggling with or what you'd like to learn more about. So let me know that in the comments as well. And as you go into your creation mode, I want you to know that when I first started creating my slide decks for my students years ago, I was starting with a completely blank canvas inside of PowerPoint and I made some terrible, terrible design choices like these. So nothing is ever, ever perfect the first time you do it. Otherwise, what would be the fun in learning and doing things through trial and error. So just make sure that you start and you slowly improve over time and also save your designs because one day you'll look back on things and be like, holy crap, I've actually improved so much since that first slide day. So never delete anything, no matter how embarrassing it is, because you will one day look at it and be like, yes, I'm a legend for how much I've improved in my design skills. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video and you wanna see more tutorials on how to create more amazing, creative and engaging content for your online presence, make sure to subscribe to the channel or keep on learning by checking out some of these awesome videos. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.